Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how I grade wax. Um, basically, I want to share with you eight characteristics of a wax to choose from. Um, the main idea is to give you a better understanding on how wax performs on your car. So by the end of the video, I hope that you actually know uh, what's good in a wax that's for, that works on your car and how to choose what's best for your liking. So stay tuned and find out. Okay, the first thing to look out for in a wax is the usability. Now, wax comes in various forms. It comes in uh, paste types. So, uh, paste types, you just take a sponge, dab some on your sponge, and you apply. Right? Apply in a circular motion. Whether you apply in a circular motion or you apply in a motion, basically, end of the day, you just want it even. Right? So, this is, these are paste waxes. Uh, okay, of course, then you take a microfiber and just buff it off. All right. Depending on the instructions, some you should leave it for X amount of time. Uh, some you just apply and buff off immediately. Right? That's paste wax. Um, some comes in the form of liquid. So in liquid, you can either use it by hand, the same way which I did with the paste, or you can also just use a DA. Just apply some on the, on the finishing pad, on the black sponge, and uh, just work your way. And then uh, grab a microfiber and buff it off. All right, the paste, liquids, and of course the third type in the top in the form of a spray-on. So um, waxes also comes in forms like this, whereby you just mist some on the paint and take a microfiber and just buff. So, depending on the style or preference, uh, you feel free to choose from any of these. The second thing we want to talk about today is beading. As you can see, on the left, the water beads up into a rounder shape, while the panel on the right, the water beads up into a not so round shape. As for the middle section, it's totally flat. Let me show you in a 2D perspective for better illustration. A stronger beading will stand up taller and rolls off faster and a weaker beading as shown here will look flatter and rolls off slower. In other words, beading mean, would mean the surface has the ability to self-clean and uh, dirt tends to bond weaker and water will roll off together with dirt. Uh, and the strength of beading usually acts as an indicator as to when to re-wax re the car. And of course, beading is the coolest thing in detailing. Point number three in differentiating a wax is, is sheeting. You can basically compare wax from the way it sheets water. From the clip here, on the left, water sheets off really fast. On the right, it's relatively slower. Sheeting is a lot like beading. It portrays self-cleaning ability but from a different angle. It's just another method to compare wax. Okay, point number four on how to choose a wax is slickness. So um, I have two panels here one which is slicker, one which is not so slick. So uh, when you drag your finger across, the less resistance you, you get, the slicker it is. So the more resistance means it's not so slick. So what's, what's the benefit of it, it being slick and not so slick? Uh, when it's slick, basically when you wash your car, chances are the abrasives or when you, when, when you apply your mitt or the dust goes off the paint, uh, it, it doesn't doesn't, doesn't scratch your paint, so you have sort of like a scratch resistance there uh, when it's slick. So when it's not slick, chances are you have wash marrings. So yeah, it's better to get one that's slick. Point number five, volume. Now, uh, it, it, this may sound very weird, but uh, if you feel, if you have touched a lot of waxed panels before, you probably can tell some waxes are richer, some waxes are thinner. So. How, how we tell this when we, we just grab the paint that is waxed, like this, all right? You can sort of like feel that there's a thick layer on the paint. It's not like bare metal, okay? If it's like a bare metal, it feels very, uh, very thin. This one will probably feel very thick. I don't know if it makes sense to you, but uh, 
it's, it's a feeling that makes you feel good after you wax your car. So, uh, of course, you want it to be very rich and supple and you don't want something that's very thin. So, yeah, this is how, you, this is how I would feel it. Uh, you, you can give it a try and let's see whether it makes sense to you or not. Okay, so point number six, we're going to talk about color depth. On this panel, on the right, I apply our liquid wax and on this panel, I applied the paste wax, synergize. So uh, I just want to show you the difference of looks it will give you. Some will give you a darker finish, some will give you a less dark finish or a brighter finish. But let me finish buffing off this part and uh, I'll show you. So I'll remove the tape line and uh, as you can see on the left, it's a little bit warmer, it's darker, deeper if you want to call it, more color depth if you want to call it. On the right, uh, you can see there's a shade of darkness as compared to the, I would say, I would say darkness, there's a shade of color as compared to the middle part whereby it's totally flat. So I would say the one on the left, very deep, very dark, the one on the right, maybe brighter. Uh, a little bit more transparent, you can see a little bit more flakes pop up there. So uh, different wax have different characteristics and uh, I just want to explain that color depth, uh, you, can, you can compare waxes with color depth. Okay, characteristics number 7 of a wax uh, cleaning power. So uh, I have a white car with me and I want to show you different waxes. Some have better cleaning power, some have less cleaning power. So um, yeah, over here I have a white panel, a white car, taped in half. So I'll be using paste wax, synergize. So uh, I'll do it like that. Then uh, on the other panel, I will use a liquid wax, radiant block. So, yeah, I mean, if I don't, I'm not going to buff it off. So uh, I just want to show you that some wax actually picks up more dirt uh, compared to some which picks up a little bit. Now, how, why does wax pick up dirt? Because of the cleaning powers. Ah, sorry, because of the solvents in the wax. Therefore, it's able to pick up some form of uh, some form of uh, dirt. Uh, solvents in waxes are not meant specifically. To to clean, uh, some are, some are, some, some people actually do put more solvents in the wax, but uh, generally solvents are carriers so that you can apply the wax smoother. Uh, of course, some waxes are engineered to have more cleaning power than others, therefore coming, uh, what we call a two-in-one polished wax thing, yeah. So, this is something to look out for in a wax. Okay, the last point I want to share with you today on how to grade wax is durability. Uh, basically, durability can be very vague can be very can mean a lot of things. Basically, durability means how long the wax lasts on your car. But earlier we talked about uh, how glossy it gives you, how much gloss it gives you, how slick it gets, uh, how much beading, how how round is it. So basically, durability is how those characteristics last an X amount of time on your paintwork. That's durability. Okay, so there you go. Eight things to look out for in a wax. So uh, I hope this video doesn't confuse you. Uh, I hope this video gives you a better insight on a wax and uh, how to grade them. So, um, however, if you're confused or if you want more information, always feel free to leave a comment on the comment box or messages. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel for more tips on detailing coming your way. I'll see you next time.